Uh, we'll now have a quick demonstration of the quiz. If the quiz content uh, is there, very quickly. So can you please switch on your tablets? And you are there to connect to Wi-Fi, right? OK. So this is what you will probably see. There is, a, there is a lock here. You have to press your thumb and move it on the right so that it gets unlocked. Now you will probably see two uh, things here. One thing is called Akash application on the left and Akash programming lab on the right. There is a Wi-Fi point down below. You can see it here. So there is a Wi-Fi symbol. When you connect on Wi-Fi symbol, it will show you a date and time, etc. And it will say Akash Workshop. So Akash Workshop is actually SSID for the network. Now, this, is already, this one is already connected. So just cross-check that your Wi-Fi is connected to Akash Workshop, that's all. This is without any password or any such thing. Okay, alternately, the, uh, the standard procedure is not this. On the right hand side, top right hand side, you will see multiple dots. That is the standard Android symbol for application menu. So when you press on these dots, you will find the standard Android screen. Now you can push this Android screen, left, right, etc. Somewhere here, you will come across settings under S. You press on the settings, you will come across multiple settings here and you will see Wi-Fi, highlight Wi-Fi, and you will find on the right the wireless, uh, uh, what you call uh, wireless uh, uh, networks that you have. Out of that, you should select Akash Workshop. Ordinarily, it should show Akash Workshop connected. If it is not connected, click on it and connect it. Then you can go back. For going back, the symbol is on the left corner here. This is the symbol for going back always from any place here that you are. It will come back here. By the way, do not try to access internet. It will not access internet because proxy is not set. But it is asking for enrollment number. Okay. Your enrollment number is last four digits of your tablet. There is a tablet ID on each tablet. So, for example, my tablet says... 1000 zero, 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 1782. So 1782 will be my enrollment ID. Your enrollment ID will be last four digits. So insert the enrollment ID as your last four digits. I'm sorry, they have one slide. Apparently, the way they have set it up, that setup requires you to do a lot more work than just giving enrollment ID. You also have to set some IP address. Uh, one second, please hold on. This is the procedure that they are showing. Uh, this is important because on that day on 10th, I will be conducting a quiz from here for as many tablets as you have received. Okay? So it is important that you understand this, which is what you will have to use later. So carry on. So you will get home screen. All of you are familiar with this. Next. Achha, what they are showing is how to install that APK. These slides will be on the Moodle. You can follow that up. After you have installed the APK, on these tablets, it has already been installed. But other tablets, you will have to install the APK. Okay. Now, once you have installed the APK, you are ready to run the quiz. The process for setting up your uh, tablet for that is to go to the Wi-Fi screen, as I said, you click on the Wi-Fi to see the available networks. First, turn the Wi-Fi on. In your case, it should already be on. You will see multiple uh, uh, names on the right-hand side. Today, you should be seeing Akash Workshop. 
that is the internet, that is the Wi-Fi access point that you will have to use. Once you click on that Akash, for example, here it says Akash connected. In your case, it should be Akash workshop connected. After that, you select the clicker application. Now, how to select the clicker application? You go to the original top screen clicker apps and you click on the clicker application there. It might be selected from even the large number of applications that you see in the larger screen or from the top screen. Okay. So all of you have selected the clicker application? Okay. Now there you have to give the enrollment ID and you have to enter the server ID. The enrollment ID is the last four digits of your tablet ID which is available at the back side of the tablet. And the server IP today is this, 192.168.1.5. It will take some practice. If you, if you put a hand on to uh, enter server IP that point, automatically a typewriter will appear. On the right bottom corner, there is a numeric keypad. Press that and you will get the numbers. It may take, take some time to get used to it. Type it, there is a back key in case you make a mistake. But set up the server as 192.168.1.5. Okay. So I have most of you entered the server IP address. So you got the enrollment ID and server ID. After that, when you enter it and say go, you should actually see this page. What, what you are seeing is, so it should, it should show a welcome participant screen. Okay, good. So now we can start the quiz. While I, I understand that some people are still not connected, they are waiting for, uh, that waiting for quiz message has not come. So let me share with you some secret. My team has tested this application first with 20 participants, then with 40 participants, and then with 100 participants. But they never had 250 people available to test the quiz. So this is the first time you are all providing an experimental setup. Now, those of you who are familiar with Wi-Fi networks and Wi-Fi access points will be aware that the number of IP addresses that the Wi-Fi access point gets is either limited or can choke. If it does not choke, then the connections may choke. So Wi-Fi is a very unpredictable joker. And therefore, however, what we know is that up to 100 IP addresses, there was never any problem. Okay. Uh, partial good news, 244 IP addresses have been given successfully. So there are 244 tablets floating around here and 244 IP addresses have been given. However, the server is not able to connect to each one of those 244 and push the page appropriately. So that seems to be a problem. We'll have to solve this. However, let me ask another counter question. How many of you have got that final page already? Can you raise your hands? Waiting for quiz. Welcome participants, whatever. So for those of you who are waiting for quiz or you have been welcome, you will now get a quiz. So this is a simple quiz. You can actually see the quiz here. We are setting the time to be two minutes. What happened? Oh, no. We are launching the quiz. So this is the, at the remote center, you will see this page. No, no, that's okay. If you are waiting for quiz, it will, it will get pushed. See the server that we have, is configured as if it's a remote center server. I was, I was advised by Professor Purushottam Kulkarni, who is an expert on Wi-Fi networks, that 30 to 40 Wi-Fi connections working full fledged is OK. The moment you go to 60 or 100, you would have problems. And if you go to 250, God save you. Now, God is not saving us today. Uh, anyway, 
we will continue to work on this because we have successfully tested it in a class of 100 with two multiple Wi-Fi access points. They have tried to put three Wi-Fi access points here. So answer them. Because we want to see how many answers are collected. It's okay. Right or wrong does not matter. But uh, Sir, I request you to allow 30 participants only to get connected with the wireless. And after finishing the quiz, they will uh, disconnect the Wi-Fi and the rest of the participants can try that. We, we will continue till midnight at this rate. <laughs> but let me assure you, we are all technical people. If it works with two, it can work with 2000, provided the basic technology supports it. We understand that the bottleneck is in the Wi-Fi network. It is not on the server side. It is not on the Akash side. That much should be obvious. Our team will continue to work to resolve these problems. Our ambition is not this workshop. This is only for demonstration. Our ambition is the classes that will begin in your colleges from the next semester. Before 1st of January, we should resolve these problems so that at least for a class of 60, the teacher is able to conduct the uh, uh, quizzes properly. So that much we'll ensure, okay? Uh, we'll also try and see what is the problem given that there are only 20, 30 tablets that are likely to come in each of your centers, you should have no problem. Please understand that this problem comes only when in a single classroom a large number of Wi-Fi connections are required. Since this will be distributed and you are connected on internet to the main server, we expect the quiz conduct to go very smoothly during the workshop when we conduct a quiz. But you will have to advise all the participants that this is how the quiz will be conducted, okay? So we'll stop this now.